hello guys hello hello family hi how are you hope you have a good day yeah for me here my day is good welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl matinde coming across my channel for the first time kindly consider subscribing like and share and for my returning viewers thank you so much god bless you continue the same spirit and let's get it so guys i'm coming live from nyabohansi village kenya yeah <coughs> And for now, I'm heading to our construction site. You can tell, you can hear the, the motorbike there. So that's the main road. And I'm heading to our construction site. So this is another route where I can go through, that I can pass going there. So we have different kinds of routes, like different kinds of roads, not routes, road. So this is another road that I'm passing today, you can see see the surrounding i told here they are not congested we are not congested here so you see like there's one person there and this bear so this is another road guys heading there you see that's the main road there <coughs> and i'm heading to our construction site so guys i told you here they usually got like they got so place where animals can graze you can see like this place is bare guys and it's so good where we we live currently like there at our parents homestead we got a slaughterhouse so that so okay that is the current slaughterhouse we got in Nyabohansi. so i've been told slaughterhouse this this cemented ground you see here guys this was an this was old slaughterhouse before it moved to where to where we are staying there at our parents so but so this is a very beautiful place so like when i will bring my uh, god so plenty of uh, place where you can just oh this is a good like a playground ground playground like a playground guys you can see when you got here <laughs> got here like a small they're so small Ooh, it's like they're months yeah they have not even reached yes see they you got a lot of so here people really cultivate and also keep livestock you see the livestock here after they are they came across the finger millets guys even here they usually plant finger millets so the whole of the one you see like they are like you see you think that it's grass so all of this is finger millets guys so this is finger millet think you can see see finger millet so the whole of this plantation is finger millets and then what and then we got yeah maize of course so and also we got cassavas here wow 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 see cassava so this is the way let me show you the way is here just <laughs> I was about to lose the way. So the way is here. Like here. I was coming from there. See that goat? You see that goat? I was coming from there. So you come like this. See how was this area? You pass like this. You see? This is our construction site there. Yeah, so that's our... Our construction site where we are constructing. So you see how... These ones are groundnuts and these ones are what? maze guys so there is our construction site you can just see so we got two ways the other way here and that one but we are using the mainly the one usually use that one because you know in this like here in uh, i don't know how you guys do it but you see here african way or african way not 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 actually african way but how how i've grown up knowing the way they uh, they do things is like you see this this land is like this like there the tree the bigger tree there to there so this here is one person so at your right hand is where you give them is where the road should be located so you see like here i'm standing in the middle of this land the road of this land the the like the road is supposed to be at the right hand side so meaning like where i came from 
that road is for the other land because here is their right hand side so for us our main road is there so this one you can just walk like you can walk you can come by walking but the car cannot pass there because that's not our road here the other part is our road i don't know if you understand me <laughs> yeah i hope you do guys so let me show you the goodness of the amazing things that are happening let me just share with you a little bit guys and thank you so very much oh goodness i just forgot oh sorry i like my one like sorry forgive me please guys please 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 i forgot gosh yeah someone just sent yeah someone sent for us sent for me like one 24 125 us dollars yeah thank you so much and you say that 25 dollars i give to my sister and hundred dollars i used to buy cement oh goodness i like words <sighs> like thank you so much thank you so very much like <laughs> yeah you have uh, chipped in in one way or the other and i don't take that for granted thank you so much i yeah we received it yeah we received the 125 125 dollars we received it and i will give my sister i'll definitely give her the 25 dollars yeah i think we should yeah i will we'll add and we'll see how we fix her salon yeah thank you so much and guys so let's get started Whew, the day is going to be amazing <laughs> ah, don't worry i'm happy hey so happy guys i don't know how to explain <laughs> you see my messy hair this is the work of my sister and she has not yet i purchased a variety of nails today guys so we purchased like roofing nails you see all of these are roofing nails and here are 10 kg roofing nails guys this all of these are roofing nails and they are 10 kg as you see them like this and one kg costs 250 kenya shillings guys it costs 250 so and they are 10 kg so that means we spent 2500 and this one goes hand in hand with this rubber roofing rubbers like you see so you just wear you wear this this nail you wear it like this you wear for me Gideon. yeah So that's how they wear it like this and then your nail is good to go like this and then they they heat on the what on the uh, on the iron sheet so these are iron nails guys yeah and we also bought timber nail timber nails yeah so there are there are different kinds of nails here there are six inches nails like this you see very long six inches there are five inches you see the difference this is six inches this one this is like five inches and they are four inches four inches equal yeah so here we got three types of nails guys you see there's six inch there's five inch and there's four inch like this yeah in, inside here there's like this so all of this like this all is 18 kilo kgs kilograms yeah 18 kilograms and uh, this just their price is the same one kilogram is 180 kenya shillings so here we spend 1800 there's not 10 kg there are 18 kilo kilos here so 18 by 180 is equals to so roughly here we spend 3000 240 for these nails for these six inch five inch and four inch and these ones also 2500 and this one so this one one like one rubber band iron iron what iron rubbers like this one this one cost 100 so because these one are 10 kgs they go hand in hand with this one so this one are 10 iron bands and this one is 100 so this here we call co it cost total 1000 kenya shillings 2500 kenya shillings 3240 kenya shillings so guys yeah 
so yes guys we bought some boards and uh, planks yeah so they're coming from the woods and this boy was using um this boy is using a board so far to he's making it he's doing it very good and we got planks over here guys these ones yeah the two inches yeah wow so now i know the difference between the planks and the boards <laughs> Woo! construction manenos so the work is turning out to be good guys as you can see they have placed the lintel there's a place here they haven't they did not yet finish so they finished it you can see yeah they have finished and they are continuing so you can see even the wall this bedroom wall the one that separates all of it they are busy finishing it you see now it's being levelized wow it's turning out to be beautiful Woo! that's our home so guys just look at how the work is being done here it's so good it's like wow you can see also we they they have placed the lintel on the kitchen yeah it wasn't there yesterday and yeah so that's the window of the kitchen and yeah this is the door and you got a serving window here <laughs> Woo. so you see so that this part they'll come to finish it yeah this part they'll come to finish it's this part they are coming for it remove these ones it's because i'm like kind of busy but if i find like even 30 minutes she'll do something magical on my head i'll just surprise you like shh, new style shh, new style <laughs> i can't wait for that <laughs> oh so we are here guys beautiful people my people my people family my family we are here now we are here so let me show you let me show you something oh, something <coughs> before i run a little I can't go crazy. No, I don't want to go crazy because hey, I got so many things to take care of. I can't go crazy. Even if I go crazy for just one day, I'll just mess everything. Cause this the this are the time for messing up or going crazy. Just hold your breath, girl. So you see the magic there. That's why I have standing on the ballast, guys. This is the ballast. You can see these are the ballast I'm standing on. Because I want to show you. Yes. You see. They are roofing guys. So. Those are. Okay. We bought woods. I'll show you. We bought woods guys. So. They are roofing. They are. Re roofing using the boards and the planks. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh, it's turning out to be beautiful guys. I really appreciate it. Oh our home <laughs> Our Goodness, I'm so happy If you know how happy am I am I am oh god <coughs> I got a flu or what? Yeah. You can hear my voice is cracking and <coughs> I think it's because it has been raining of late has been really raining like every day see they are roofing wow wow so we are there we we are. okay so you lay down first we see good thank you very much wow oh so yeah we are they are there helping me to helping us to to put the tank down guys yeah gosh it's so heavy it's so heavy guys it's heavy okay Whoop. so let them guys so this is a biodigester tank so we are uh, offloading it what how no we are placing it to where it belongs to its hole yeah guys so we are placing it to its hole it's a biodigester tank guys a biodigester tank so Ooh. okay <laughs> so that's our tank guys Oop. Ah! Ah! 
so that's the lead ebu fungo tuone thought it wasn't the right time so so it's finally here and i'm going to explain to you my people i really love you and i feel like whoo so this is the time to <laughs> to explain to you guys to, yeah so let me explain to you what's happening about the toilets okay so please guys don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos i really appreciate that guys so you see this is um biodigester tank this is a biodigester tank guys and it is 2000 liters 2000 liters so we dug its hole here yeah i think you saw the hole while we were digging it yeah i showed you the hole and didn't tell you anything else so this is a biodigester and we have uh, we have we managed to place it in, down i'll show you how we placed it yeah so we managed to place it down there and we return the soil the soil that was dug out from this hole so after that we return the soil and you can see so this biodigester hole is not yet it has not yet been installed like pipes and everything so that work will do it tomorrow so don't miss out the video of tomorrow it will be fire and it will be very informative so don't don't mind about this this wood that they are placed here i think they have placed just to know the the width of uh, i think they have placed just to know the width of of between the tank and here because this place here in the middle here this is where we are going to build for our tank like you see yeah you see here like here a space between here and down here you see there's a space so the the way that that wood is placed there so it means that we are going to build bricks like two courses coming or one course is coming like this coming upwards like this yeah so that will build like this yeah like this like from let me let me let me just take you slowly guys from here you see so this is a biodigester guys this is a biodigester tank okay this is a biodigester tank tank but we the only thing remaining is to fix pipes of which it's going to be fixed tomorrow yeah it's going to be fixed tomorrow guys here so yeah it's going to be fixed guys here yeah they are going to put pipes there so yeah so it's we have not yet filled it because they have to uh, like to put pipes there so don't worry that we uh, we um, placed it before the installation because we know what's happening like what's what's exactly doing it so the first reason we did that like we uh, place it here and return the soil of course so we we are not living here now so it's for safety it's one of the main reasons for safety so tomorrow we are going to put the pipes like okay that's how we suggested like plus the plumper suggested that we can just install it there's no problem he's going to fix it he know how to fix it yeah so also okay so tomorrow we are going to build for our build like yeah we're going to build for our tank build like this coming here and uh, surprise this is our sock pit guys this is our sock pit yeah well, so let me show you so this is our sock pit this is our sock pit guys this is our sock pit and those are stones we really arrange them very good yeah so that big stone don't mind it you are going to to remove it so you can levelize it yeah they just use it to climb from there and coming out yeah so don't mind that big stone so just concentrate on how, what i'm telling you <laughs> sorry so you see how we have built for our sock pit guys you see you see like we build it like three feet from the top going down it was built so you can see this is our sock pit guys and this is our biodigester so you can see they'll fix there so the plumber knows what he's going to do so he knows everything is going to place the pipes from there and also from the kitchen so you know the work of the biodigester guys you know the work of biodigester is to 
like in short it's just like recycling of waste materials yeah that's the in short form that's how i can see it that we recycle the waste materials and yeah we make them like you can reuse the water or the, yeah so i hope you have gotten me right so let me show you where we're going to place our toilet our outside toilet you're not having the indoor toilet yet because our house is small like that's what we have now and i really appreciate that so don't mind don't don't mind so guys here here like let me show you our house this is our house right this is our house so from there from down there there's going to there, there will be a perimeter wall like this you see there will be a there's space here you can see the space so there will be a perimeter wall here coming like this because you know now our land is going there at the far end there so we will go we're going to have our toilets here where our this this sand is here and our toilets would be facing like this okay so we're going to put a perimeter wall like this and then come a u-turn like this and then it goes like this so there we're going to, we're going to have our toilet and bathroom facing like this guys yeah they are going to face like this so that's why you got a biodigester there and we got a sock pit here so guys we are planning on actually that work will be done tomorrow the work of uh, the toilets like the measuring of the toilets and uh, like digging of the foundation i think it will be done tomorrow guys yes yeah, guys so that work will be done tomorrow so that's why i i really wanted to share with you this amazing 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 information yeah so that i know you guys love us so very much and we really love you like i love you so much and thank you for everything for your love and support and advice i really appreciate so that's why i wanted to to clear it so that you can know that you got plans for the toilet and bathroom guys yeah so there's plans for the toilet and bathroom and the reason why we didn't want to rush it is because we have to finish with the biodigester tank and the sock pit yeah so that's what we were doing and thank god everything runs smoothly thank yeah i really thank god and i really thank you my family and i thank our dearest dear that's how i can say uh, really thankful god bless you and bless you abundantly so yeah we are so tomorrow god willingly tomorrow we'll be we'll, we'll be able to to measure the toilet and bathroom and dig the foundation and also the perimeter wall the the perimeter like not a perimeter wall around the whole <laughs> all of this homestead i just mean the perimeter wall between the kitchen and the latrines yeah so this sock pit will be so after after building like after building for our sock pit uh, uh, after building like we'll make a lead yeah we'll make a slab a slab on top of the sock pit and also a slab on top of the biodigester so the reason why we left the three meters full three meters feet down like top going down so that okay the pipes will be running through these walls guys yeah the pipes will be running through this wall like there's a there will be a pipe there going kitchen the pipes yeah so pipes going to the bathroom and everything so the reason why we left this and so you know we will place a slab on top of it so the reason and we'll make a lead so that in case there's a like there's blockage of the pipes of or anything yeah we can be able to fix it so these three feet is good like we can like someone can be able to enter and uh, and make a uh, yeah make necessary necessary what arrangements or something yeah like that so guys also our biodigester we are going to place a lead we are going to we are going to to place a for our biodigester we're going to to build that the to build like two to three courses or four so that it can make it strong so to make a slab a strong the the um the wall can the wall will 
<laughs> okay, so the wall, okay, the wall will support the slab. Yeah, the wall will support this, the wall of the biodigester will support the slab so that we can be able also to make a lid on top of the biodigester, guys. So that's what we are doing, guys. And uh, let me know, let me know how you think about this yeah let me know how you think about what we are doing and uh, if you are right if you are wrong you are allowed to correct us in a very understandable language <laughs> i really appreciate you guys because i usually go through your, all the comments i don't i don't think if i i leave any comments if i leave any comment and answer that means i i have understood you or I like how I should respond. <laughs> yeah, let me be sincere. That's how that's how things are, guys. So that's how everything is going today. So let me know on the comment section how you feel, how you think about what we are doing. If you are right, if you are wrong, you correct us. I will really, really appreciate and thank you so much for watching my videos and guys please subscribe so that you can be able to follow me in each and every step that we take in our construction site and i really appreciate you guys like who without you guys i don't know if <laughs> I, I don't know how i should say this but you mean a lot to me guys and i really 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 appreciate you so yeah so you leave a comment let us know know what you think about it and if you, there's something you should we should make a correction you just say but also consider that there's something that you can say that it will it will affect us like financially so please just consider how you comment down there yeah <laughs> really consider about it because also you know that it's our first home and it's our first house this is what we can afford so if you are any you have any suggestion you are very welcome to chip in so that we can progress well in our construction site guys thank you so very much i really love you my people people my people beautiful family who love you from the moon to the back <laughs> so thank you so much and please please don't miss us on my next video where i'll be showing you how we do everything like whoo, it will be fire and i'll show you the progress of our beautiful house see you on my next video love you bye